is everyone? Hello, hello. I see all of your lovely comments. If you can't see the live comments, uh, this is because you're not signed in. You need to have a YouTube account and you need to be signed in. So just make sure that you do that. It's so lovely to see you all here. <laughs> I've got my morning voice back. <laughs> How are you all today? It's so good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, sadly, coronavirus has, yeah, it's caused a lot, a lot of issues. My poor sister, in fact, I haven't even got to speak to her yet, but she's traveled from Perth, which is a good like four hour flight, even a bit longer with her boys so that they can watch the uh, Grand Prix and that's been cancelled apparently and we are meant to be going on a cruise but the decision's been made for us we were like oh we were feeling very unsure uh, but yeah it's been cancelled <laughs> so the decision's been made for us which I'm kind of happy about because I was very feeling very unsure and apprehensive. So it's kind of good that they're thinking about others, thinking about health. And it would be very, very difficult for them if they're having too many cancel on the cruise ship. That's not a good thing either. So yeah, so we'll probably be, um, I mean, it. part of me was sad, but part of me was like, oh, that's such a relief because I knew I had like two weeks work to do over the next week and now it's like, ah, I can do it normal time. I should actually pretend we're still going so that um, I get all the work done. I get ahead by two weeks. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is for the best. I know it must be full on for the cruise lines, but there's so many places that are gonna get hit. So. I think it's just realising we've got to sort of look after one another, look out for each other. Like, it's so weird, but we go to people's houses. We went to our friend's place the other night and um, brought toilet paper with us because you can't get toilet paper in Australia. <laughs> Dad's doing good, although he's at home on his own because my sister's here and her boys. So, um, but yeah, it's just so bizarre. The whole thing, how quickly things can change. Yes, the procrastinator in me says, forget it. You know me too well, Paula. <laughs> I'm like, should I get two weeks ahead? Nah. <laughs> so someone asked me a really good question about my card that I put up yesterday. So did you all see this one? Super cute. Look how adorable that is. So... You may have missed it on YouTube because I didn't get to post the story here. Toilet paper in the US has gone too. It's so weird. I don't know why toilet paper goes missing. Maybe everyone's at home doing the like toilet paper technique. Remember that one where you'd get the ink and you'd blotch it all over your cards? <laughs> oh, random. Oh, good. You love this one, do you, Michelle? Thank you. Yes, it's very cute, Jeanette. Very cute. So, uh, someone asked me a very good question. It was Luann, actually. She's here. And she said, how did you get the little little bugs, like, separate like that? And I replied to Luann on Facebook. And I said, you should know us by now. I hashtag loved it, chopped it. Yes, I chopped the uh, stamp. Going to see it? Just see my chop, chop, chopped up stamp. <laughs> there they are. There's my little choppy stamps. So the little ladybug, there's the four of them that come in this strip here. So instead of um, keeping them in the, the one strip, I was like, I want to use them individually though. I don't want them in one big strip like that. So I chopped it. Yum. So there you go, there's a little tip for you. The other thing I like about this, um, that was a question that someone had, was the frame on the outside, like how did I measure that up? So what I did was I cut two of them for the 
lengthways and then I joined it in the middle I think it's one of these spots here with the circle the circle for me was the join and then I just snipped off away around from the circle the the smaller size that was fine I only needed one and then somehow it connected at the circle which was really cool because the actual size of the frame is that size so I just did two along here and yeah it all connected it the brand new garden ornate garden inspired me because I thought oh, it's got lots of like frames and all of this sort of background um yeah so that's what I did and what I really like about this is the mix of and I've I don't think I've ever actually done this before but I did flirty flamingo and the lovely lipstick and that's what it created it's sort of like the perfect lady beetle color is it not I think it's like the perfect color how cute is it so yeah that was just using the blends our beautiful stamp and blends in fact I've been meaning to do this for a while, but if you live in Australia, I will put up a link. So watch below once the this video finishes. In fact, I might be able to do it while, because we have a special guest stamping with us today. Uh, but I do have a blends club that's open and I have very limited spots, like literally maybe one or two. <laughs> so if you want to collect all of the blends, and get some really cool rewards and gifts and a celebration freebie as well, then this is the time to sign up for my blends club in March. So you only have, well, pretty much, I think they'll run out, but I only have one or two on offer. So I'll, I'll put up that link a bit later so that you can collect all the amazing blends. Now, I also did something really cool yesterday, which I'm really, really happy about. I don't know if others have done it, but I have been missing the top lid to my storage, my blend storage. And it's just felt like my blends haven't been fully completed, right? Because it hasn't had the lid on the top. But what I did was once I completed it, I've actually taped the edges isn't that cool? So now I could just pick it up like a regular um, container and not stress out that the whole thing is actually going to fall apart. And yet it's still temporary. I can just pull off the tape and everything's okay. I can fill it up more if Stampin' Up! have some more blends. I've still got sp a space for five more here. Um, but did I do the other? Yes, I did both sides. Because I received... A beautiful gift from a demonstrator in our area, sorry to knock you, but she gave me these little um, labels for the front. And our friend, I've got it here, it's Ruth Waller, and she even sent a card with it as well, which is so sweet. We did a bit of a swap. She sent me, she sent me the labels and I sent her some um, card template tutorial. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Actually, I might even send her. I'm going to send her a, um, our latest tutorial too. Look at that. So cute. So Ruth, Ruth is in Nowra, North Nowra in New South Wales. So here in Australia. And she messaged me and said, I noticed your blends don't have the, um, the labels on there. So that was really cool. Good to see you. It's been ages. So yeah, that's my hot tip. If you don't have this amazing Stampin' Up! storage, it's a must-have. It's so good. I'm loving it. Especially now that I've done like the taping to it. I love it because I can just pick it up like this and it doesn't fall apart. Because that was a little bit... It was annoying me a little bit. I don't know if it's like anyone else. But yeah, I was like... Ugh. It's just like so fragile. I don't I don't deal well with fragile. <laughs> I need it to be robust and handle Kylie Kylie um ruffians. I'm not I'm not a gentle a gentle soul when I create. Yeah. So what else have we been up to? 
I've also had a lot of fun with our brand new Ornate Garden bundle. In fact, we're in the process of organizing our mega bundle. I love saying that, mega bundle. So at the moment, I think we're sitting around maybe 50 people that are participating in a mega bundle using this amazing suite. So you have two options to get this suite. And I'm telling you, I am so excited about my card. Like so excited. I love it. I'm like actually quite sad that it's in a tutorial because not everyone will get to see it. Well, a lot of people will see it because I think the mega bundle is going to be pretty enticing. I'm really, really hoping that the bundle gets to a hundred. <laughs> that's what I love. <laughs> So, oh, you taped yours too, Kim. Oh, that's clever. You taped yours as well, Rita. That's hilarious. I'm glad we all thought the same. I'm like, why did it take me so long to think about that? I think it's once I got the lid, then I'm like, oh, I'm taping it now that I've got the lid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this suite is just absolutely gorgeous. And I will reiterate, it will be around an entire year. It's a pre-release from the brand new annual catalog. If this is one product from the annual catalog, I am so excited about what's to come. Uh, but basically the only way to get it right now is if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can pre-order it, which is, I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you get it at 20% off. Thank you, Stampin' Up! We'll take that. Uh, but if you don't have this and you want it stat, and you want to get really great rewards, then definitely think about joining because you pretty much can add all of the items except for maybe the ribbon or the gems, one or the other, and you get a free stamp set, you get the free mini cutter, and the stamp set can be any value. You get the free mini cutter and you also get 48 sheets of designer series paper and it's only till the end of March that you get that deal. So. Please, wherever you are in the world, if you are not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, feel free to talk to us because we know a lot of people in a lot of places. I had a few people contact me this week, in fact, saying, I'm looking for a demonstrator. Who can you recommend? I have lots of people. I can give you a list of people that I work with and are brilliant, brilliant, amazing business women who are going to look after you really well. So definitely. Oh, yeah, you got yours today, Sandy. That's brilliant. Yes, the designer series paper is gorgeous. You gotta love it, chop it. Yeah, Jeanette's overwhelmed by the garden suite. So many possibilities. Hi. I agree. Hi, Bruno. Oh my goodness, that's so much of a better shirt. So I'm wearing this shirt because oh, this was it's my an cruise OT shirt. Cruise. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'll just move all the things off the chair. Yeah, I've got the ornate garden bundle sitting on there still because I'm still inspired by it. I'm like, I'm going to leave it there to just look at me. Welcome, Bruno. How come you're in the house? Bruno's in the house. What's happening? I'm crafting today. Bruno's crafting today, everyone. Yay. You ask and you shall receive. It's a very Do you squeaky like my shirt? chair. Sorry. It's, um. It's like a peacock. Peacock, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Actually, where are those Hi, colours? Paula T. Hi, Paula Granny Apple Green. Randy K. Come over a bit more. You're like half off the screen. We want to see that beautiful face. That's better. So this shirt, I bought this for our cruise that, as Kylie mentioned already, we're not going on. <laughs> and this shirt actually has matching shorts. So Like it's, the same pattern. Yeah. It's the. It's only a shirt. It's only a combination that you would wear on a cruise ship. <laughs> And or only, at the tennis. Or at the tennis. We yeah. saw a lot of people at the I tennis. I didn't wear this area. one at the tennis. No. I wore the lemons. The lemons at the, at the tennis. tennis. Yeah. Everyone Hi, loves Tina. the shirt. See, look. Tina, hello. Which Tina is it? Tina. Say my name. <laughs> say my name. Say, say my, my name. name. <laughs> oh, Bruno dressed just for me. Peacocks. Kayla loves peacocks. <laughs> Thank you, Dana. Um, do we need a style show? Ooh, oh. I can arrange that. You, you want the shots as well, do you? <laughs> it's really a yeah, it's pretty the same out there fabric, look. Yeah. yeah. 
Fortunately, these shorts are reversible, so I can wear the black version. Mm. Um, yeah. But, you know, you got to be a bit OTT. So I channeled the Aboriginal art today with my shirt. Mm. Sort of like the Aboriginal colours. We're always fighting it against each other with our patterns. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or we're the same. <laughs> so, yeah, I was telling them about this amazing... Maybe I should use this as the inspiration for my card today. <gasps> Do it. What colours would they be? You can go collect them now. Okay, I'll just have a look. Oh, it's even got a little bit of the um, pumpkin as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be a very nice colours, Bruno. I'm I'm going with that. You can still use one of the cards. Yes, our cruise has been cancelled, Kayla. All cruises with Princess Cruises have been cancelled uh -oh. until May. So that's full on. Oh, Jenny, she's been here waiting for an hour. <laughs> but you get the bonus, Bruno. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I absolutely love that. So if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, definitely look at getting that. And if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, brilliant. You'll be able to add it to your starter kit. So if you need information on how to add it to your starter kit, I do actually have a video that I made to show you how to do that. Uh, what did I call it? Ornate uh, GV. Oh, it's in the, oh no, the R jumped in. Ornate GV. No, it's not going to come up. I need to put it on the other page. For some reason, um, YouTube doesn't work on Safari has like a little meltdown and for some reason my quick keys don't work on Google it's just no. like a technology it can't play nice can it there we go now I'll copy that and bring it over here good there's always a workaround so yeah have a look at that video and that will help you to see how you can add the ornate garden um, new products to your starter kit. What do you think? Oh, I feel like it needs some Bermuda Bay. Yeah, it's Bermuda Bay. Really? Oh, it looks so different with that. Yeah, I really like that. Is there a green that I'm missing? No, you got Granny Apple. you got Pacific. Oh, it looks good. I'm not sure about both of the oranges. Anyway. No, but I think that that's a nice... Yeah, I think that's a really nice combo. Nice, it's nice, it's different, it's unusual. And I can make the card that base. Ooh, that'll look really good. Yep. Which yellow is it? Is it Pineapple Punch? It's yellowy yellow. Or Daffodil Delight. I think you should use Pineapple Punch. I'll do that. Because Pineapple Punch doesn't get enough use. It needs a highlight. And this is the perfect time to highlight that Pineapple Punch. Because? It's very tropical. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Done. the winner. I like it. Ooh, and black. Yes, black is ready. What is it? Black is in my collection of colours over here. Is it? Ready. <gasps> You're so organised. Well, I'm going to move over. Let's swap seats. Finally. <laughs> Have you finished talking? I never finish talking. You should know that. Yeah, How hot. long is a piece of string, Bruno Batucci? Oh, that's hot. By the way, Bruno isn't drinking port in the middle of the morning. you got to show them what you're drinking. This is my espresso. It is a special espresso Riddell glass. Yes, you can drink espresso out of Riddell. Let's swap. Finally. <laughs> got my tracky decks on. So do you I. You can't see that. <laughs> I've got these ones on. They don't even match my top. No, they don't. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? So, it's just the front camera at the moment. It is, but your your um, bottom camera is ready to go. Good. You just have to say, go live. Um, okay, so... Um, what were you going to talk about? This is the card. They can't say that. This <laughs> is the card that uh, we've had a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about. 
how did you get those things to line up? How did you do that? So I'm going to make a version of this card. You might remember this card from a few days, probably a few weeks ago mm. now. Um, this is based on the Aboriginal art piece of artwork that we just put up in our home. And so I'm going to make a version of this. It's not going to be the same colours. You saw the same the colours that I um, just picked up out of those colours up there. So how do I do it so that it's both at the same time, Kylie Jo? Well, you don't have to show your face anymore. Okay. You're just going to show your hands. So that so one? Just go live. Do I press that or just press that? Just press live underneath. See how it's got preview live. That one? Voila. Voila. So, you just saw me um, collect these car, these colours from behind there. And this is based on the shirt that I'm wearing. So, um, it's going to be a bright colour, a bright card. And this is going to be the, um, the card that I'm basing it on. So um, the question that I was just talking about that I've been receiving is how did you get all these um, cards to line up? And when I show you, you're going to <laughs> just flip at how easy it was. So uh, you'll be able to make uh, your own version of that card. So um, I was actually prepared this morning already with some other colours. So I'll just I get the pieces that I'm still going to be using and I'll put the rest away. What was the other colours you were going to do? I was going to do an ode to the retiring in colours. Aww. Anyway, we might use those colours for something else. Yeah. So, um, I will make the card out of a basic black like this. I'll make it out of a basic black card base and you will see that there are two layers there. So I have two black um, layers and I'll just cut those to size with you. But one of them I will use as the base to um, stick this on onto. So that's one of the um, tricks that we will see. So. Let's just put all of those aside. Um, and I'm sure we have scrap versions of these, but it doesn't matter. Can I have the trimmer, trimmer? please? Sure. I even did a bit of a clean. It was looking a bit... It was. Well used. <laughs> so let's just push that across. You can see that. Yep, perfect. So, I will just cut this into two pieces of cardstock, and then I'll cut that, actually I'll just cut it like that. So cut it in half. So use your gorgeous great card template for this. This isn't the card base. But it's used the gorgeous great card, card size. Okay. Because it's half of whatever size you have in your country. Ooh, going for two. Is it going to work? I think so. It's a really good trimmer. Yeah, look at that. I think it cuts like even two or three. I think I even pushed it to four. So this is obviously something I should have done earlier. No, but, but they just, love seeing you chop. But just talk among yourselves for a moment. Love it, chop it. Okay, so... Oh, Luann said, could you please give us Kylie's Love It Chop It colours so we know the sizes? <laughs> that I will much, do that for the next one. That pretty much is the only size you need to know is the... No, there's two more. There's two more? Okay. Yeah. So, what we're going to do, you can see there was no rhyme or reason. Well, there was actually for this one. Um, when I was looking at the piece of artwork, um, I just looked at what colours uh, matched the Stampin' Up! colours. So... Um, these are the colours that I'm going to be using. So, um, I will just cut, um, two or three of each colour. So this is how much effort I've gone into lining them up, okay? Prepare for your mind to be blown, everybody. I'm waiting. I haven't even seen this in action. 
one and then I'll just angle that this is how I cut usually Two. <laughs> and I'll just angle that the other way and that's what I'll that's and, all I've done and you don't need to sort of keep them in a certain no. pile together wow that's cool One. So this and it could might be not a use. really good little mini cutter job. It's a bit big for the mini cutter. Is it? Yeah. I don't think it would be. Have a look. It is. I don't think it is. Have a look. It's perfect. You gotta trust me, Bruno. It's so cute that mini cutter. So you can see how much effort I've gone into lining this up. So I just saw on the news this morning, everyone's talking about coronavirus, I heard. Um, the school that I went to, the high school that I went to has been closed. Has it? Because there's a, um, a reported, one of the students has coronavirus. Mm. So it's getting closer and closer and closer. Um, Luanne asked, what centimetre are you angling to make the cuts? Um, that would imply that I'm actually measuring it. <laughs> there just... is no measuring happening no. here. And you it's could do it whatever eyeballing. size you want. If you want to do it even a bit bigger, you can. And... It's called Have a Look at It, Luann, and Chop. Which is kind of the best measurements we could end up using, really. Yes, Paula. All of us that cut like this on a regular basis could do a really great card. <laughs> this is and how I'll I chop regularly. And add some white as well, just for a bit of interest. Yeah, I like that. Now, I'm not going to be using all of these cards, so uh, these pieces, so um, we might have to make a second mm. version of this. Okay, so that's all the cutting that we've been able to do. I can take that for you. I will need that later on. Sure. Okay, so yeah. this is just a quarter of a cardstock size. So um, I've just cut the piece of cardstock down here and cut that piece over here. So this is one quarter and that's not going to be the completed size that we use. Okay. But we are just using that as a base. Is that the Poppy Parade size? Uh, it's smaller, uh, bigger than the Poppy Parade. Bigger? Oh, yeah. okay. It's exactly one quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's Poppy Parade there. Ah! Oh. Yeah, a little bit bigger. It's cool. one quarter of the, half of the great, gorgeous grape. Mm -hmm. So, we'll just get some glue and I am going to start... Now, what's important is that I don't put glue across the whole piece. So because I've already started to put it there, I will just put it on that side. And because I'm going to trim this down, I've just made a mess already. You didn't see that, did you? It's all right. We've got um, adhesive remover. So next piece. Now, Let's... one of the big questions that I was asked was, how did you cut the pieces so that they line up like that? Mm. And the key is I didn't cut them so they lined up like that. I just cut them whatever shape I wanted. And as you will see, as I place it, I just allowed the black space in between. Cool. Does that make sense? Yes. 
so it doesn't actually line up. It doesn't actually line up at all. At the edges, so but you're going to chop them. I'm going to chop that off, That's yeah, exactly. Cool. So I'll just add some glue. Does that make sense? Yep, that's brilliant. I can't believe how simple it is. It so looks simple. so complicated. Kerry said, this is a, such a brilliant card idea. It's fun. This is like the perfect scrap. Like imagine doing this even with designer series paper. I want to do a love it, chop it one with designer series paper. All of Gorgeous. Those, all of those scraps that we've got yeah, over there. Yeah, exactly. What colour should I do next? I'll do some more yellow. Beautiful. What about Bermuda? Bermuda. Let's do some Bermuda. I love Bermuda. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. <laughs> Luanne said, are you kidding me? It's really that easy. It's really it's that really easy. easy. So when I was getting all these questions, I'm like, really? what do you mean? Like, I just... <laughs> it, you did. You made it look so complicated. It's like, oh my goodness, how did he cut all of those... He must have cut two at a time to get the two colours to line up. And so see how this <laughs> angle is changing based on... Yeah. It's okay. I can just line it up yeah. based on... That's going to be a beautiful card. Now, what is important is that you keep one side straight. Oh, yeah. So that's when you cut. So when you put it into the machine, or the cutter, yeah. there has to be one side that's straight. So that that becomes your... That becomes the straight edge. I, I like that. I'll add some white. Yeah, it is almost like the starburst technique. That's yes. very true, Gail. I was trying to think of the name. Yes. But allowing that black border, like, gives it a real... Um, pop. <laughs> Marilyn said, we not only get card making tips and tutorials, but we also get songs. <laughs> Are you going to be using, yes, seriously the best? Well, we might be using that stamp set. <laughs> that's the one you used on this one. Correct. And that's the one that's just here ready to yes. use. <laughs> that that's always a song, that, that one. Life is a song. Life is a song. <laughs> so see how it's sort of getting a bit... Um, yeah. Like the angle's getting bigger, that's okay. Or, if I want, I can do it on that side and then start the angle going the other direction. Oh, that's so cool. Kerry said... She thought for sure the architect in Bruno would have, like, measured and cut all these pieces. Nope, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love that, um, because Larray said, I liked Bruno's original or Aboriginal design, but this has just taken on a whole different look. She said she loves the, um, bright colours. Can you think of colours that you can make that, make it in. So this, what I'm doing now, it's sort of bending back towards yeah, the other I like direction. Yeah, I I really like it. Uh, I'll add a yellow piece. How about yellow? <gasps> Pineapple! It was all yellow. <laughs> the first time we did a cruise ship, a cruise, was with my parents and that was about I don't know how long ago, long time ago. It was a long time ago. And um, I got to the finals of the karaoke championship. <laughs> I know, it's really hard to believe. And that was the song that I sang. Brian and I were both in the finals together. And of course I won. Well, you did not. I Neither beat of you. us won. <laughs> I beat you anyway. <laughs> That's all that counts. That's all that counts. That means you won. <laughs> Sir... Is J JMC Willis, is that James? Yeah, the Australian Grand Prix cancelled. My sister's here from Perth for the Grand Prix. Poor thing, I think no, she arrived last night. No, it's not cancelled, it's just no spectators. Well, that's pretty much like, yeah. So the race <laughs> will still happen. 
Yeah, but the people can't the go. The people can't go, yeah. Mm. Disneyland in the US is yes, closed. Yes, I read about that. Wow. And Sam just went last week. Boy. So, that's the end result. I am without speech. Without speech. Amazing. Oh, it looks so good too. Those colours. I'm glad you went for those colours. See, there was a, a, an entire reason I said to Brennan, don't you have a better shirt than that? He looked at me he's like, he wanted to kill me with his off. eyes. He was like, ugh, this shirt's fine. I'm like, no, you've got more fun shirts than that. So I'm just going to trim these pieces off. So um, see how what I mean by one edge has to be lined up. So if I line it up on this side, it's not going to be straight. Mm. So, Can you try it with the mini trimmer? Sure. Because I just think it will be so good. I think you're going to love it. The other side won't she up it. line up. Oh, that's true. That yeah. side won't. No. Oh, no, it will. Yes, it will. It'll all fit. you got to turn it around, though. I can't. Why? So, what I want to do that way. Yeah. Okay. That will be easier yeah. to line up. Yeah, you can see. It's a bit gluey, so unfortunately there's going to be some glue. <laughs> <laughs> There's Left always there. glue. There's always glue everywhere. <laughs> and you got to hold the little plastic piece just to keep it from moving around. Oh, that looks so good, Bruno. Oh, my goodness. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it to the black size, and then we will cut it to the other size, okay? Sharon Berry. Hi, Sharon. I'm pretty sure that Sarah Berry's mum. Really? Is that right, Sharon? Yes, because I know that her mum watches. She wants to see you in the matching shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno has to do a fashion show later. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks so good. So get a load of that. I love that. <laughs> I'm without speech. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to cut this one down again to um, wow. flirty flamingo size. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Kylie, do you have the templates handy? I do have the templates handy. Does everyone have our, um, our card templates? So I'm going to cut this one down to this um, size. I turned it around the other side for a reason, Bruno Batucci. You'll confuse everyone. Yes, that's it. Perfect. So, I'm going to lose... Which one should I lose? Should I lose... Um, lose a bit of the... Oh, no, we need the pineapple. There's not much pineapple. I'll try to lose... Um, keep both. Keep, a, keep both sides. Yeah, that's good. So, um, as you can see, I'm going to cut a bit off this side and a bit off that side. So, I'll just cut a bit off one side first. What should we call this technique? The love it, chop it scraps? <laughs> scrappy, scrappy, love it, chop it. Scrap your <laughs> art out. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's nice. That's very nice. And so nice. this is 9.5. So I'm just going to line it up on this side to the yep. actual side. Very nice. nice. And I'm going to, so the height is right. <laughs> scrappy strips. Love it, chop it, scrappy strips. So I'm just going to cut the edge of this one. And hopefully there's enough glue on that to stay. If not, we'll have to do a little bit of surgery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just going to do some fix up. You know what you're... Um, yeah, I'm going to cut it off. Yeah, here, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I'm not going to use I'll that I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not going to use that anymore. Because you know what the key is to, the script, no, to this? No, me, let me do me. it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Give me this. Because look at this, right? We've got to do surgery here. And it's good for you to learn how to do this because I noticed what you were doing. You've got to learn the technique. 
So what you do, you did the, the, the man way, which was to be too hard with it. You've got to be softer with it. You've got to be kind to your little mini cutter. I could hear you going, come. You got to go slow, slow. <laughs> You've got to be kind to him. Yeah, that's it. Allow him to chop. <laughs> See, look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and now that's the right size. Yay! I don't like that colour now. We are so a married couple, Paula. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut it down even smaller. Sure. Granny apple green's a nice one. Thirteen point seven. Yeah, is that one good? Yeah. Cool. Can I have the that? Thank you. You're welcome. Call it Hawaiian shirt inspiration. Yay. Oh, it's so cute, that mini cutter. <laughs> so that's good. And I'll just cut a bit more off that side. And what you can do, instead of doing an eyeball like Bruno is, what you can do... Oh, yeah, that's right. So you're doing the actual measurements. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Because the length way, if it's too long, you can just use this as like a little guide. Perfect. Lovely. That looks so good. So what size was that one? That was the... Mango Melody. Mango Melody size. The Mango Melody would look good. Did you do Mango Melody in there? You did too. I did. So, the other piece, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount that <gasps> onto the card, but then we're also going to mount one onto the um, Poppy Parade layer. Nice. Do you have the Poppy oh, Parade like layer? Poppy Parade, sure. Let me get that for you. Poppy Parade. So that's the size that it's going to be on that page. And then that's the size that it's going to be on that. So it's just going to be a nice little black um, layer in between. So that is, yes. Very good. <laughs> the best words a husband can say, yes, dear. <laughs> By the way, there's the um, link for the card templates if you don't have that tutorial yet. Um, Kayla's got um, a, a name for your card. Oh, yeah? The strip show. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, they're Excellent. very happy colours, Gail. I agree. Very good. So, let's just assemble what we've got so far. So, I'm going to stick that down using dimensionals, of course. I knew that dimensionals would get a... Um, yeah, there's that one there, yeah. I mean, it is a Bruno card after all. It needs dimensionals. How many dimensionals is Bruno going to use? That is the question. If you like to save your dimensionals and you don't use them, please look away now. This comes with a warning. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> Is that what you would normally use? I would probably put more in. Really? Between, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that one down to there. 
but then I'm going to have another layer of dimensionals underneath that. So, <laughs> see, I told you all this is how we earn the trips. <laughs> it's from our dimensionals purchases. <laughs> oh, gold. Awesome. So now do you want your um did you work out how to use the picker tool? It doesn't always Did it work not work for, for you? No. Oh. It doesn't, sorry. Just talk among yourselves for a moment while you watch me unpick these. Can I try it with the picker tool? Let me show you. Ready? So wow. pretty. I like those colors. Really, really nice. I wish I used some more white in this area, but that's okay. I'll do it that side and I'll put the sentiment over the top of that. Mm. So, you stab and lift. Try that. Give it a whirl. It's actually yeah, have... quite a lot of fun. Stab and lift. Yeah. You gotta sort of lift. Yeah, that's it. But the idea is to put it straight in the bin. Oh, that would imply that you put them straight in I the bin. I do now. Oh. Is that why they're all over the floor? <laughs> Throughout the house. <laughs> they're in the hallway. I think they get on Jasper or Bella. Oh, you're blaming the dogs now? <laughs> no, they come in here and then get it on them. I'm not blaming anyone. I take full responsibility for my dimensionals backings not being in the bin. Well, that's good. It's like it's like if you do a really, really smelly fart in the house, you've got to own okay, it. Okay, which way should I do it, people? This side? Yeah, I like that side. Or this side? Just move your dimensional. No, Sorry, I'm yeah. not going to listen to what you say because <laughs> I like it this way. <laughs> Um, and that will go like, uh, that. <gasps> so pretty. The colours look amazing. I'm so excited you were inspired by your shirt. So the final piece is the, the sentiment. So I've got a piece here. Um, I've got the stamp. Um, and I think we'll just do the same one because it's, 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 um, the right shape. So, always use the friend in the fridge. Now I'm going to do it close to the bottom. Who's just the so fridge that in the feet fridge? Just so that there's less to trim. Can you see that? Yeah. Oof, it's not straight, eh? But that, anyway, that's fine. You can do some surgery on it. <laughs> Did you do it not on a sheet? Oh, Bruno Bertucci, there's a container there. <laughs> Look what 
happens when I look away? <laughs> I won't show you a video of the rest of this room. <laughs> Bruno, it's not a competition. I would win. <laughs> So then I will. So, should I trim that down anymore? Do you know what? I actually really like... Watch so like it with yes. that bit on the side. Yeah, not being perfectly... I really like that. You sound surprised. No, it's just cool. I would never think of doing it like off-centre. Because it's not exactly straight, is it? But I really like it because it matches underneath. You don't cease to surprise me, Bruno Bacucci. You continually surprise me with your amazement. Guess what? I've got the Blends Club done. Have you got the extra? Don't. Yeah. Are you sure? 75 blends. 75 blends. And was there new ones that came out in no, there? No, this is all the latest ones, which is very excitement. Okay, so this is the finishing... Oh, no, it's not the finishing touch. What do you think? I like that. Oh, that is so good. Oh, my goodness. You are amazing. So, this is pre-cut for the insert. But prepare to be amazed. I've got one more little trick. Really? And I probably should have done this earlier. Because there's a bit of a mistake in, in it, as you will see. I've just put the link for the Blends Club up. So if you live in Australia, you can sign up for that to get the Stampin' Blends. So you can see what I did. Um, there's one of these pieces that's missing. Is it that one there? No. Ah. So anyway, there's a few, a few pieces that are missing, that's but you get cool. the idea. So that was just a piece that I cut. From Bring that. it down a bit, yeah. You couldn't see it on the screen. It was cut from basically there. That's cool. I think Luann asked that. What are you going to do with the little strips? Decorate the inside of the card, of course. Jamie said, that's an awesome touch. <laughs> Paul said, another card craze coming. <laughs> We're going to see all of these... Um, Scrappy strip I cards. I would love to see all of your scrappy strip cards. Yeah. Whoever came up with that idea, scrappy strips. Yeah, I like scrappy strips. I think that was Paula. Yeah, that's fine. So there. That <laughs> is today's project. Well done, Bruno Vitucci. Inspired by the colours of my shirt. I really love So what are the colours? Name them. Um, Pineapple Punch, yep. Pacific Point. Pacific Point? We haven't used Pacific Point in forever. Um, 
Is this Granny Apple Green? Yeah, Granny Apple Green. It looks a bit green. old olivey. But no, anyway. it's Granny Apple. This is... Um, orangey orange. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you can do it. Pumpkin pie. Yes. Uh, Bermuda Bay. Uh-huh. Grapefruit Grove. No. Mango Melody. Yes. Whisper White. Mm-hmm. That's all of them. Very good. Basic Black. What did you say? Orangey orange. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new Stampin' Up colour <laughs> Next to Bumblebee <laughs> So <laughs> Wow, I did that Well done <laughs> We'll take a screenshot of that um, Lift it up a little bit higher That's very nice Yes yeah. So, that's all I have to talk about today. Well done. Shall we do a handball? Yes, and you've got to go get your shorts on. No, I'm not going to yes, do that. Yes, do it. It's so funny. I want them all to see your amazing matching outfit. You're not going on a cruise. This is the closest you're going to get to wearing your outfit. Because you're not wearing it anywhere else. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Birdie Ward. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Thank you, Birdie Ward. Is that Birdie? No, no. it's not Birdie. Um, Michaela's son. So there Thank you, go. you, Sandra. Excellent so job. So I'm just going to hand over to my lovely wife. Oh, do you still like me, or are you just pretending? Just pretending. Because I was very bossy on him, but he's, you should be used to it by now. I am very bossy. Because you can't blame the tools. It's just the user. It's user error. <laughs> they all love the card. Well done, Bruno. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I seriously am super impressed with this card. I love the fact that it's just like, yeah, random strips. And yet, I was like, how did he do that? I was so confused. Like, did you cut this piece and then line it up? But how simple was that? So, yeah, anything, when you come to our, our blog and our videos, we're all about making cards that look really complicated, but in actual fact are very, very simple and very easy to do. So even for a um, simple, who would have thought this could be a simple stamping card, um, maybe omit the um, embossing, even though embossing is quite simple, it looks complicated, but it's not. But this would be a perfect card for a new stamper. If you've never done stamping before, you could get some cardstock and just cut it all up or some designer series paper, do a, a chop chop with some designer series paper and um, really utilize all of these beautiful, beautiful layers in there, which would be great. Yeah, great way to use up scraps. I agree. The scrappy, love it, chop it, scrappy card. Technique, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so good. So just a couple of other cards I wanted to show you that you may have seen. Uh, we've got this beautiful one that I did with the shimmer paint. So if you haven't seen that one, it is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love this shimmer paint on here. So I did a couple of those. I did one with the white shimmer and one with the um, the champagne shimmer. I really like the frost white. So if you haven't uh, seen the shimmer paint, it's in the current annual catalogue. So definitely check that out. It is beautiful with this Parisian flourish. And the Parisian blossom suite is in the mini catalogue right now. So it has this beautiful um, framelit that goes with it too. And then we've also got these gorgeous ones that we did with the vellum. So the vellum is a brand new celebration item that you can earn with every $90 purchase here in Australia. So that is absolutely beautiful. And this one here is the Tags in Bloom stamp set you can earn that with every $180 purchase now some customers think that you have to do separate orders no the system is clever enough that if you place a $180 order and then a $90 order 
the rewards accumulate so you don't have to do separate orders which is fantastic so definitely check that out in fact i think i got yes here it is here i've just got another one the other day because you know this is such a beautiful set i'm like i want another one so that's the tags in bloom stamp set and with the card that we made this one here we you might be wondering how did you get the flowers on both sides I just did a bit of surgery and cut it from each corner, from corner to corner, and then flipped it and then added the sentiment afterwards. So that's how you do that one. Very simple, but beautiful. And I've seen this being cased um, by some lovely demos. Patty Bennett cased us. Uh, I think Susan Wong might have been another one. But there was another one I saw and it had some of the gorgeous... Um, pearls that have been colored in colored in using blends and that looked amazing i was like that's such a great idea adding the little pearls that have been colored with blends did you know that you can color your pearls yeah you can color them with our alcohol pens with the blends and then make it exactly the color that you want it to be even the rhinestones you can color so that's a fun little project and then we did some love it chop it with our six inch by six inch paper uh, so I did these beautiful cards. Look at them. Because <gasps> you might cut it and do the front, but then you're left with this random little piece with the 6 by 6 You're like, what do I do with that little extra piece left over? And that's what you do with the extra piece left over. So if you have our card templates, this size here is actually the uh, basic grey strip. And then the front is the poppy parade. Although these were cut down a little bit smaller. I think they ended up becoming the flirty flamingo base. But it just gives you the idea that what's left over, you can use like so. And I love even doing the stamping here with the purple posy. I ended up using Highland Heather ink, but just stamped off so that it gave the look of purple posy. Because we don't have the purple posy ink, unfortunately. We've got purple posy markers. So that's another version that you could do. You could use your markers. Or you could use the blends, but sadly blends don't go on the stamping. But I thought that this was a great alternative, just doing the Highland Heather stamped off. So, yeah, that is all our cards this week. So we have another busy week ahead next week. Uh, always something to create and use and play with. Um, remember that we still have our amazing March tutorial bundle out now. So definitely get that while you can because it's using the peaceful, no, Parisian Blossoms. So that was the, that one there was the blog hop to the Parisian Blossoms. Uh, but that whole bundle, you get 12 tutorials and they're jam-packed full of amazing ideas, all using that one suite. Next month is Botanical Prints and we're doing videos for that as well. Whoop, whoop. So that's going to be fun. So definitely look at that. Bruno, are you changing into the shorts? Oh, all the girls are so sad. Paula said, Bruno better be changing into the shorts. Yes, Megan, I did receive your happy mail. Thank you so much. In fact, I think I have it here ready to, to post on. Our, that was from Liz. I got that one from Liz. And I got this one here from Megan. Was that your card, Megan? I think that was, yes, that was your card there. Oh, so cute. And I love what you've done with the foils there, colouring that in. That's so awesome. Did you use your blends to colour in the background there? Because that's so cute. Megan is in our team and she said, thank you very much for my rhinestones and for, for your continuous support. Mwah. So good to have you on our team. I'm loving it. Cheer up it. And then that cute one from Liz. How cute is that? So yeah, let's, I love random act of kindness. So I'll post them on my Instagram. I've got a little space for it now on my Instagram called random act of kindness. So you can check it out and just see all of the different gifts and little things that we've been given, which is always really nice. We really appreciate your generosity, everyone. So thank you very much for being here today and we shall see you next week. We'll be back at this time and because it seems to be good. 
now I can get on with the day. <laughs> Otherwise, I end up going out for coffee instead of working. Can't have that. <laughs> And have an awesome, awesome time. Please share if you think that there's a friend that would love to see this new technique that Bruno showed. I feel like it's a new technique. I was looking at it like, I can't, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Uh, so please share that and please like. I noticed we have 42 likes currently. So thank you very much for all of that. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're constantly putting amazing content on here to help you Think of creative ways to use the products that you already have and to make sure that you're not hoarding and that you're using your products. We're very much, we want it to get out there. Spread love, people. Get into your craft room and think of someone that you can send something special to because uh, particularly because of the stress that we're all experiencing, craft is an awesome way to help us mentally with everything, all the pressure that we're, is going on right now with coronavirus and uh, different things that um, environmentally people are going through, uh, different health concerns, mental health. It, it, there's so many things happening. So just really think about how you can build another person up and in turn, it will make you feel so much better. So use this beautiful gift we have to build others up and you'll get so many rewards in return. You will not believe it. Just keep sending those beautiful cards, especially love it, chop it. Like yesterday, I was able to chop down our beautiful new pack of designer series paper and potentially I have 70 cards that I can make. 72 cards if I make them like this. How beautiful to have 72 gifts of love to send to people around the world. And if you are not part of our random act of kindness group, please jump on and join that. Uh, because some people will say, well, I don't know anyone who I can send it to. Well, we've solved that as well. We know lots of people you can send it to. And we even have a section called cards for people who need encouragement within the event group. So if you know someone that's going through a really, really difficult time, pop their name up. We want to send them something nice. Even just last week, I sent a demonstrator a, a card in our team because she's going through a, a divorce at the moment. That's tough. That's really tough. She's doing good, but it's just, it's really tough what people are going through. We found out that another demonstrator had advanced or no, she'd hit her five years with stamping up her five year anniversary. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. I'm going to send her a card. So you just, you might see things on the internet. You might see things on Facebook. Maybe you see um, Dawn Griffiths is finally going on her 2 million trip. Send her a card. Let her know that you love her and that you're inspired by her. If there's someone that you follow, send them a card. Send them something to say thank you for your YouTube channel and your creations. We love it. Or just pick someone who you're seeing talk on the internet somewhere and they seem a bit sad. Just send them a message and say, hey, I'd really love to um, send you a random act of kindness card. Um, I'm on this group and I saw you speaking on there. Can I send you a card? Oh, heart. How beautiful would that be if you received that message? So just go bomb people with love. <laughs> send some love around. <laughs> we need it at the moment. Yes, big time. So not only create, but share the love. Have a wonderful week sharing love. I can't wait to hear your experiences. Tell me what you're up to. Tell me who you're sending your cards to. And if you have any experiences of what it's done for someone, maybe it's just the right thing at the right day. The one that I sent the five-year anniversary card to, she said I was having the worst possible day and it just came at the perfect timing. I love hearing stories like that. So get it out. Be part of something really good and positive. You have a special gift. Share that special creative gift with other people. Mwah! Bye, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Thank you, Bruno.